What today's hiring practices teaches young people, not too much that's valuable. I had somebody the other day tell me that he was a little surprised that the candidate that I sent him didn't send a follow-up note after the interview. I half agreed with him because that's what I learned. But in, the, in those days, you didn't apply for a job on companies' websites. The other half of me thought about how much follow-up do young people receive when they post their resumes on company websites responding to a LinkedIn post. Probably not, because com applying on a company website is the biggest black hole in the universe. Yet, some folks expect to write, <laughs> to write a thank you note as, as if we lived in the days of Emily Post. Do young people learn hiring protocol at school? Young people learn very little at school about, hiring, about the hiring process and how to get a job today. If they did, they would graduate with a strong LinkedIn profile as well as their diploma. Many want the decorum of the past, but companies don't reflect those practices in their corporate actions. I've had too many coffees with folks who tell me that they have stopped applying on company websites because they didn't get a response. Does your hiring manager reach out to everybody who sends their resume to you? Highly unlikely. I actually saw a LinkedIn profile with an, for an HR person the other day that had zero connections. Looks like they didn't want to have the inconvenience of people. I read an article that said Microsoft paid $60 a person for each LinkedIn user when they acquired the company. My guidance office is into my blogs and videos for young people. That's where today's real life world lives. My guidance office is in my best watch video called Young People Shouldn't Try to Get a Job. It has more viewers than the total number of students at the Canadian University I went to. If your company doesn't engage with young people applying for a job, you're planting the seed of not liking your company. And bad news travels faster in today's digital world. I was reaching out to some smart folks when I was doing a search recently. I contacted a young man who said he couldn't help me find candidates for the company as he had had a bad hiring experience with them. When your company places your ad on LinkedIn, do you recognize the values, the hopes, the dreams, and the efforts of the applicants? That's hard to do. It's easier to get some PR out there saying you're recognized as one of the best companies to work for in your town. The companies that will succeed in the new normal will have more courage in their hiring practice and courage develops a lasting impression.